got a bit of a stuffy nose, so I'll keep muting my microphone. That's why I keep stopping like this every now and then to turn it back on or off. Uh, where to go? I could go straight to uh, the Citadel with this and talk to the council, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna run around like headless chicken. See if I can't find myself some stuff. Maybe go shopping or something. The Susek Academy. The shops are on the other side. <laughs> Oops. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. Oh, bless me. Ashley, you're in that woman's way. Nice trees. Ooh, I could say go for a swim in there. So... This is a question to those of you who haven't played the games. Does this look like the kind of place you'd like to be? The Mass Effect world? And for those of you who have, I'll ask the same question, knowing what's coming. What's this? One of the Earth Clan? Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Well, it's nice to feel important. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Basically an information broker. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Ooh, zing! Yeah, not interested in what he has to say. He's just burned me. I'm leaving. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Time to do some shopping in a minute, it would seem. Or at least have a look at what goods they've got. 
Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. I if I sell all my crap. Let's sell my stuff first. Um, oh, fuel generator. I didn't know I had that. Sixty-four, sixty-eight thousand six hundred credits. Yeah, um, I think that's a bit out of my price range right now. <laughs> ah, um, unique items. I could have probably done this on the um, when I was on the Normandy, but you can. You got um, a requisitions officer. You buy these items, and then uh, these uh, basically weapon licenses. It means you can buy weapons in from that particular manufacturer and they'll have them in the store. Pretty random what appears there but you can get some damn powerful armors and weapons by doing it. So we're buying those. That's pretty much all I'll be buying because everything else is way too expensive. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Okay, glowy jellyfish thing. Let's look at your upgrades. Yeah, a grenade upgrade. Uh, heat sink and first aid. I'm, I'm tempted to buy that and give it to Kaiden. It gives health regeneration. You don't have to worry about using your uh, metagel if you take a little bit of damage. Fuck it, I'll buy it. Probably don't need to do this because I could probably <laughs> get them anyway, but I'll get them now. Ooh, just in case. Where to now? Um, I think I can make my way to uh, the embassy. Not the embassy. It's the uh, thingy me bob. <laughs> yeah, I do that thingy me bob every time. I can't remember something. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in um, three or four months. Three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. 
Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. I'm sure Melina. you do. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. How fortuitous. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Well... I'm sure our military friend over on the other side is going to be quite jealous of me. I can't believe I didn't come. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Is he now back on Earth? Oh, let's open the door. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. I'm sure you would. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients well, waiting to see me. I'm going to charm the pants off a Turian general. I mean, that literally charm him. I mean, not the pants thing. That would be freaky. I don't think Turians wear pants. Yes, that was a joke. Damn, that was quick. I can remember that taking like a minute on the, the Xbox. The joys of computer gaming, I guess. Down here and go into the seasick area. Oh, I've got to go to the fucking council first. That sucks. I'm going to say hello to the council. <laughs> I'm going to weep while I do it. I can't go charm the pants off a Tory in general. I'm going to have to wait. I'm impatient. I shoot some at while I'm doing it. Right, and the Presidium locations. Um. Citadel Tower, there we go. I have arrived at Citadel Tower. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the Council waiting. Somehow, I doubt that, Garth. Well, here's to hoping. And I wish I could run faster. <laughs> it's a, quite a slow jog.
Yeah, I'm listening. The hearing's already started. Come on. <laughs> the Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. The council literally does almost nothing without hard evidence. They do nothing on faith. Which sucks in our it case most of the time. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that, Luther. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Man, Udin is a pain in the ass. Does anybody actually like him? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. 
Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the Council, we'll be able to influence those rulings. Protect our own interests. No more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the Council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his Geth. Problem solved. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation, but sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. No, I think that's it. And I think that is it for this episode. Or it may have been two, I don't know how long it's been. <laughs> Probably quite a while. Either way, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave some feedback, like, favourite, whatever. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.